and you're watching Bianca Renee today and welcome back to another Foundation Friday. So I went back to my old drugstore ways and got a very popular drugstore foundation that's supposed to be really good for oily skin, which is the Revlon Color Stay. This is their 24 hour wear and I got the one that says for combination and oily skin. So they have a combination oily skin version and they have a normal to dry skin version. So I definitely had to get the oily skin one. Um, this one, it does have SPS 15, S, hello. It does have SPF 15 and I'm the color 400 caramel or caramel if you're fancy. It's supposed to last up to 24 hours for oily skin. And if you guys have watched my other videos, that is my main concern is to make sure that my skin does not get super oily at the end of the day. I probably won't be able to wear this for 24 hours because it is not currently midnight and I'm not gonna stay up until midnight, but I will wear this on a very long, busy day and I'll come back and show you guys how it worked. Per usual for a drugstore foundation, this is one fluid ounce and does have a nice little pump, which you guys know that I like, really easy to disperse the foundation. And I will be applying this with a beauty blender. Now I got this bottle from Target, it was only $7.49, but according to online, it is, oh wow, it's $9.98 at Walmart. Target never beats Walmart. $12.99 at Ulta, that's doing way too much for the same thing. $8.99 on eBay, $9.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. So yeah, I'd recommend going to Target to get this. But this is also like at CVS, Walgreens, any drugstore. It's a very popular common foundation that shouldn't be too hard to find. The Revlon Color Stay does come in a total of 22 different shade colors, but only four of them are darker than my skin tone. So now let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. Okay, so let's put this on my face. I'm gonna shake it up. I have a damp beauty blender ready, but first I need to put on my primer. I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And hopefully this helps. Okay, so now I am moisturized and primed. I'm gonna grab my damp beauty blender and we're going to do a pump. I hope this is the right color. So it's definitely a very rich brown color. I think I'm getting more of a red undertone than a yellow undertone. Oh, my burn scar, I forgot to cover it up. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. That's a little better, maybe not. My forearm is pale. Anyways, back to the face. Okay, now I'm gonna do my little coverage test where I go back in for my dark circles. One side, other side. It's not like crazy coverage. It's actually pretty light, but I got concealer. So here's my full application of the foundation. It did take me a couple pumps to actually get the coverage that I wanted. It's very light, it's not too creamy or too thick. Uh, I kind of wish it did a better job at concealing like my dark circles. I probably would have to apply a little bit more, but I'm trying not to add so much product. I know it's kind of out of habit. So it's currently 11.30 a.m. and I'll be back in a couple hours to see how long this will actually last. And we're back. It is currently 9.30 p.m., which means that I've had on this makeup for 10 hours. I didn't quite make it to 24. I don't really want to stay up. I think I've seen enough. So... Here is a good look at how oily I have gotten. Now usually on my foundation Fridays, I kind of stay home just in case I get crazy oily, but I actually had to go out and about today. So this is me actually roaming the streets in sunlight, daylight, air condition, in the car, out of the car, you know, normal movement. And this is where I'm at. So it's not too bad, but for it to claim 24 hours of wear time, I want it to be just a little bit better. But I definitely have the full color and coverage still on my face. It is called Color Stay. The color did stay. It's just my, you know, crazy oily skin. So it's time to blot. These are oil absorbing sheets. These are from Walgreens. I show these in all of my videos. And now I'm gonna see how much oil actually comes off my skin. get into a very full sheet try not to do another one 
Let me try a second one. All right, so here are my results. I did have to use a very full sheet of oil here and I have like a little half one here. And the makeup is on here, but not too bad. So I think the color did stay like the bottle claims, but this is how oily I did get. And now back to my normal matte self. It really doesn't look that bad. I did a pretty good job for being on for 10 full hours and I do have very oily skin if you guys do not know that already. If you wanna see me use this foundation again, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. That way I could show you how it is on a normal day where I don't wait a full 10 hours to blot. The Revlon Color Stay is definitely a YouTube favorite. This is always in people's like top drugstore foundations for oily skin. And I would probably put it in my top five. And I do have one more drugstore foundation that I want to review for you guys probably next week. And then once I do that one, I'm going to do like an overall championship finals on who has the best drugstore foundation. I'm gonna kind of review all the ones I've done so far, side by side. I do have some more high-end ones coming as well. I know you guys have made some certain requests, but if you want me to review a particular foundation, leave me a comment and let me know and I'll try to get my hands on it. Now I need you to use your hands and click that like button and the subscribe button because I post new foundation reviews every Friday and I post curly hair product reviews every Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.